Every year, sudden cardiac arrest kills nearly 300,000 Americans. In fact, it's the leading cause of death in the U.S., striking once every two minutes. By the time you finish watching this short presentation, four Americans will have died from SCA. I had my sudden cardiac arrest at the age of 17. I was a junior in high school, and I was on my way home from school, thinking about writing my English paper. It's a pretty ordinary day. It happened when I was umpiring men's fast pitch softball. I was celebrating my 48th birthday at a restaurant in Port Jefferson, Long Island, when I suddenly collapsed on my husband's shoulders. I was talking to my, one of my coworkers in the ladies' room, and I understand that um, she heard a thump and I had fallen out. I was alive when I got on the sidewalk and I knew that, but somewhere along there I died standing up. And found me blue, purplish, uh, tongue protruding, eyes rolled back. I was clinically dead for a short period of time at four o'clock that afternoon. I have no me memory of the event um, from the time I got on to the, to the treadmill um, and about two weeks after that. Sudden cardiac arrest, or SCA, involves an electrical disruption of the heart's rhythm. The most common event is called ventricular fibrillation, where the heart begins beating very faintly and rapidly. It can happen anytime, anywhere. Victims suddenly collapse. If they're to have any chance of surviving, they'll need, within minutes, CPR and the shock of a defibrillator, also known as an AED, to restore the heart's natural rhythm. Over the last decade, nearly one million AEDs have been deployed in public places like shopping malls, schools, airports, health clubs, police cars, and airliners. Tens of millions of Americans have learned CPR. But the national survival rate from SEA is less than 8% because there are still too many cases where bystanders don't respond. A cardiac arrest is not witnessed, an AED is not available, or emergency services cannot reach the victim in time. Tens of millions of Americans are at risk of sudden cardiac arrest due to factors such as a family history of sudden death, coronary artery disease and heart failure, a previous heart attack, smoking, obesity, and diabetes. It can also strike seemingly healthy children and young adults who carry genetic conditions and many others in the prime of their lives as parents, spouses, and community leaders. Nearly one million Americans most at risk have implanted cardioverter defibrillators, ICDs, that provide round-the-clock protection to restore the heart's rhythm from any disruption. The Sudden Cardiac Arrest Association was founded to bring together survivors, patients, physicians, nurses, emergency professionals, family members, and others touched by SCA. Our network of chapters, affiliates, and volunteers work in their communities to educate the public about sudden cardiac arrest and advocate for better emergency response and better access to preventive medical care for those at risk. While all of our volunteers are important to us, there is one group that has special status, the survivors of sudden cardiac arrest. Survivor stories are still far too rare. Many people consider the resuscitation of a person who is not breathing and has no pulse as something just short of a miracle. I'm a really lucky guy. And there's too much luck in the equation for who gets to live and who doesn't get to live when it comes to sudden cardiac arrest. My son said, Mom, I wasn't afraid until I saw your head hit Daddy's shoulders. Everything in my body that could fail, failed. Everything that could stop, stopped. Well, I was gone about four and a half minutes. And by then, with the combination of the, the CPR, the uh, 22 shocks from an AED, they shocked me 22 times. She says, uh, it's a miracle that you made it through the night. 
Our goal is to have more miracles by helping communities build better emergency response with broad knowledge of CPR and wide deployment of AEDs. And better yet, to prevent SCA from happening by ensuring that people at risk seek out the appropriate care from physicians who specialize in heart disease and cardiac arrhythmias. To do that, however, the Sudden Cardiac Arrest Association needs your help. Every day, we hope you will be an SCA hero. Be prepared to help someone who has collapsed. Advocate for the deployment of AEDs in schools, office buildings, houses of worship, police cars, and other community venues. And know the risk factors and talk to your doctor if you or a loved one should be seen by a cardiac specialist. If you're still unsure about your role in the fight against sudden cardiac arrest, perhaps words of wisdom from some of our sudden cardiac arrest survivors will be your inspiration. You can't be a doctor, but you can take CPR class. You can recognize the warning signs. You can recognize what to do. And, uh, and that's, that's something that there's no excuse why you can't do that. Now, somewhere along the line, get yourself checked out by a cardiologist and, and trace your history a little bit to find out if it, if it runs in the family. The ICD gives me a huge sense of confidence. Um, I feel safe. I feel protected. I've scuba dove in the Galapagos off the coast of Ecuador. I've been running marathons and I've also done a half Ironman triathlon. Make people aware and they can jump in and do something about it, not just stand around. Every high school student shouldn't graduate without knowing CPR and how to use an AED. I was at a restaurant and we were just talking about things and he said, you know, I'm getting ready to go in the hospital to have an implant. And I said, well, look, I had it done. Here I am, <laughs> my blouse <laughs> open and showing. I said, oh, it's a piece of cake. And I said, another thing, you'll be so happy to have this implant because it will save your life. Automated external defibrillators save lives. It saved mine so it could save your loved one too. We just need people to understand that this is nothing to fool around with because it could be your child. It's not just, you know, a grandparent like myself. It, it could be somebody very young. For more information, please visit SuddenCardiacArrest.org.